Let's check in with K2K meteorologist Andrew Simmons. Andrew, is the weather going to stay pretty good and nice to go out fishing or is it going to get pretty stormy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not going to be too bad today. We can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm developing through the afternoon, primarily in deep east Texas, but no major concerns expected. Here's the latest look at clouds and radar. We've got partly cloudy skies across the area. Some spots filled with cloud cover right now. Other spots seeing the clear skies. Linden, you're seeing clear skies. Tyler, you're seeing some clouds. Lufkin, you're kind of in between there. We do have a few showers in southern Angelina County, south of Zavala, uh, which uh, again can't rule out an isolated shower or storm through the course of the afternoon. Good news is severe weather is not expected. Temperature wise, we're based off where we have the clouds. A little bit cooler, Tyler at 75, Jacksonville 74. But meanwhile, it's 82 in Henderson, 76 in Marshall, and 78 for Longview and Hempel's already made it into the low 80s out there. Now, over the next seven days, temperature wise, that normal high temperature is 79 degrees. We're going to drop on Thursday, but that's only be because we have rain and clouds moving on in, and that's going to keep temperatures a bit cooler, but we do warm up quickly through the weekend as thunderstorms become more of an afternoon affair, and we are going to see us warm up as we head throughout much of next week with making a run with us making a run towards 90 degrees heading into the middle part of the week. Taking a look at the excessive rainfall outlook, or in other words, the flash flooding threat for our uh, day to day, but mainly for us, it's into tonight and our southwesternmost areas highlighted in the red for flash flooding. We're under a level three three out of four risk and many of those areas are included within this red uh, color. There is in Trinity County where we saw the most significant flooding uh, over the weekend. So definitely not uh, what we need here. Uh, we can use some dry days, but unfortunately we're going to have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms increasing tonight. You can see by 2 a.m. on Thursday, the heavy rain will start to move on in. Deep East Texas will be favored for the heaviest of the rain. Maybe some strong gusty winds along the leading edge of that line, but I do think flash flooding is going to be the main concern. Concern. We'll see more showers and storms move through primarily deep east Texas late in the morning through the early afternoon and then the rest of the day may be dry heading into Friday. The storms become more of an afternoon affair for us, uh, but we can't rule out some storms creeping on in from our north. So that's something we'll be watching for when all said and done. We'll pick up about two to four inches of rain in deep east Texas through Friday morning and then one to two inches of rain in the northern two thirds of our area. However, uh, again, we will see more showers and storms into the weekend. For today, to recap, though, we're climbing to the middle and upper 80s with an afternoon shower or a thunderstorm, especially out in deep east Texas. And then for tonight, we're dropping down to the upper 60s. Storms arrive late, and that rain will get heavy at times. Your seven-day forecast looks like this. We are going to see the storm chances last for the weekend, but then temperatures really warm up. We'll see those highs in the middle and upper 80s by Monday and Tuesday. And then for deep east Texas, it's more of the same. Look for that rain to lead to potential flash flooding on Thursday with leftover storms into the weekend. For your latest weather forecast, you can go to our website. That is KETK dot com.